Hi, Rudy Bowles, Product Director for Eagle. We have another new floor plan we want to show you. This is the 25 RUCD Eagle Travel Trailer. So we're going to go over the floor plan and also go over some of the 24 features that we added uh, last June. So first of all, uh, front cap, what we wanted to do was add windshields to all of our north-south beds, uh, which is what we did here. Same cap, uh, just was able to add windshields to it. Uh, you'll notice our, our jack system. This is actually option with our leveling, so you can see the back legs on this one. But every one of them, regardless if it has stabilizer jacks or not, has this front end uh, lift. Uh, it's very similar to our fifth wheel lift. You notice there's no uh, tongue on the A-frame. Uh, that was uh, done by design. So here, if you have electric stab jacks, which is standard, you get uh, the front uh, leveling, which will level uh, front and back. So uh, you also notice a tray. This is something that we do that uh, I don't know of anybody else that does this. This tray actually holds a 5.5 owning generator uh, that can be optioned in, uh, and you still have room for batteries on each side. Uh, something uh, that we do that uh, I have not seen anybody else do yet. Uh, Pass-through storage. So we do every bit uh, except for the drop frame. So I do little saddlebags here for extra storage. The doors are oversized, uh, but I still have uh, quite a bit of... Uh, pass-through storage on a travel trailer, which is um, always pretty valuable real estate. Uh, J-Port, our two-inch receiver, uh, you can insert the table. I have my 22-inch griddle. I also have my sink that comes with it. Um, I have hot and cold water, so a quick port. I'll have a door side or off-door side uh, water, a quick connect, and then we, uh, we put uh, plumbing for hot and cold water. So regardless of the floor plan, if it says it has an outside kitchen or not, we can uh, add basically a full outside kitchen. Uh, this one's set up because of the floor plan. I can utilize a little extra space and put an outside refrigerator in there, um, which is also uh, extremely valuable for customers uh, for outside entertainment. The, uh, the floor plan overall is 33 foot 10 inches. That is uh, with the A-frame included. The box itself uh, is a 30 foot box. And you'll notice we have a 21 foot awning over. So 21 of the 30 foot box is under awning, uh, which is something we try to put the biggest amount of awning that we possibly can on every floor plan we do. Okay, inside the 25 RUCD, this is super similar to our fifth wheel version of it uh, in terms of the U-shaped dinette uh, that can fold down. The nice thing of being a 96 inch, I can get a pretty much a full size, almost a, a full size bed laying down there. So guys, my height, six, uh, six, four, I could lay down on there, have plenty of room, which was the whole point of uh, doing a U-shaped dinette. Um, recliners, we have three different recliners. Um, so recliner, recliner, recliner. You got the center section that folds down. If you need separation or if you're not using the third. But the nice thing is uh, having that flipped up, if you want to use that as a full sofa, you can. Uh, we do the oversized cup holders so you can put the tables, uh, inserts in there as well. Uh, Kitchen-wise, um, albeit it is a smaller floor plan, we try to utilize as much space as possible. So we added all these extra drawers. Instead of doing a fireplace, we felt the drawers were necessary in terms of storage. So you have all the extra drawers, one, two, three, four, five drawers. Uh, I have extra pantry over here on the side, which goes the full depth of the slide out, which is pretty big. So plenty of pantry. So 2024, we changed our appliances. We kind of wanted to have all the same uh, same brand. So we have GE Microwave, it's a 30 inch OTR, uh, a GE Stove 21 with a drawer on the bottom, and then a GE Refrigerator is a 10 cubic foot 12 volt. Uh, other than that, for a small floor plan, you have quite a bit of extra uh, uh, countertop space. And then as you're panning through, uh, lots of windows. So basically where I'm standing here, I have panoramic windows completely around me all through the kitchen, which is something that we would have focused on as well. So off to the bathroom. Same as the fifth wheel version, uh, 30 by 36 shower. So plenty of room. I'm 6'4", plenty of room to stand in. Uh, again, we have a pocket door in there instead of a slam door. Plenty of uh, linen. Medicine cabinet, true medicine cabinet, not a mirror that uh, is mounted to the, to the wall. And you got plenty of storage underneath there as well. And one thing that we do is we, we try to center our vanity sink instead of tucking it over in the corner. That way I have workable space, workable space on both sides. So once we pass through here, the one difference between the fifth wheel and the travel trailer is this closet slide. A lot of our competition that does a familiar 
uh, floor plan, um, I have not seen them actually put the closet slide in there. So here I have wardrobe, I have four drawers below, I have two more over here. This drawer here is for linen, so when this pocket door is closed, I can get to my linen additionally if I need it. Uh, a little bit of overhead, a little bit of countertop. I still have opposing windows, so a window on that side, window on that side. Um, I have a little bit of space hanging on each side here. We get kind of creative with our drawers, drawer on each side. You also have uh, cubbies that have 110 and USB, alarm clocks, cell phones, all that kind of stuff. So there's some hidden cubbies. And then, uh, like I told you, on the outside, we added a, a windshield in the front end. Uh, you do have enough space in here. You can see I have, oops, I have a gap between. You can put an Olympic size mattress, which is a 66 by 80. That will fit in there. A um, little bit extra storage overhead. And then you have all this storage here. So I have all that. I can put washer and dryer combo in there if need be. Just pop out those two drawers, uh, or sorry, the uh, um, shelves. And then I have different size drawers underneath as well. So this floor plan has plenty of storage. And like I said, to add, I have windows on each side. So that is the 25 RUCD Eagle Travel Trailer. Uh, we are running our first run right now, and this is the first off on the first run.